Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about allowing specific IPs to access the firewall. So if you remember from the previous videos, I was like, okay, you can have, you know, Joe Blow on this network and Pat from this network access your firewall. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. So if you guys are uh, new to the channel, welcome. And if you're coming back for some fun, let's have some fun. So first you have to log into your firewall and I'm already logged in here. Let me go ahead and minimize and make sure all is good. Let me X out of here just so we can start from scratch. All right. So let me move my mic so I can see. All right. So let's go ahead and open up your firewall. So my firewall is at 10.2.21.2. And under the user management, we have GUI clients. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. So right now, any host can connect to it, right? As you can see, uh, do, 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 do. let me show you here. If we log into here, like we were just logged in, anyone can log into this, right? So we'll come back to this in a moment. So what we'll do here is we'll add, and we have multiple options to add, right? We can configure, the, the configuration of the clients that can log into the security management, right? So we can have any IP, which is there already from any host. This machine, which my machine here is at 10.2.21.10, and we can verify that here. We can just open up command prompt and do an IP config. And we can see my IP here is at 10.2.21.10, okay? So we can have a network. So say, for example, I want to have my full network, which is 10.2.21.0 slash 24 or uh, then we do 24 bit mass, 255. OK, and you can say, OK, that whole network or you can have a range, right? We can have a range here like to a 10.2.21.10. Uh, let me tab that over to 10.2.21.20. And only this specific range of IPs can allow, is allowed to access the firewall. But obviously, I'm going to do this machine, which is at 10. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And for any, I want to go ahead and delete this. OK. So we should get that deleted. OK, cool. So we can go ahead and let me go ahead and. Uh, uh, let me minimize this for a second. All right, so I want to go ahead and log in with my user, all right, and make sure I can still access it. And then what we'll do is change my IP address to my local machine to something different that doesn't sit at 10 to 21.10. We'll make it like 11 or 12 or whatever and see if it still works. But let me make sure I can get into it with my current IP to show you guys the validation that it is still working. So we'll give this a moment to, uh, to go. All right, so cool, we can still see, we can go here, we can go to view, we can go to monitor. We can see the firewall is good to go and we're able to access it, right? So let's go ahead and close this out. Obviously it's super slow because I think I mentioned this from previous videos, I'm running this whole lab on an USB external drive because the laptop I'm using doesn't have much hard drive space. But you can see here, um, we, can, uh, we can get to the details here. So let's go ahead and X out of here. Let's just go ahead and uh, go to Control Panel. I want to double click this. I want to go to Properties, and I want to change my IPv4 address to .11, OK? And I want to go ahead and validate that, OK? Close this, and let's do a quick IP config. And now we're at dot eleven. So let's see if my setup does not work now, because I didn't permit dot eleven to be able to access my management server. So let's go ahead and wait till this starts up, and we should still be able to ping the IP address. I just always like to test connectivity. Yep, we're still able to hit the server. All right. So now. 
we're going to go ahead and put my fancy password. Okay. And unauthorized client, it's not authorized. So pretty much that's how you, you know, lock out some people, or if you want to have certain people in your network security team to have access to the firewall and maybe the sysadmins, no, you know, no access depending on where they're at in the network. And yeah, so this is pretty much how you can manage that and deny access to your firewall. Hopefully you find this informative and I thank you so much for viewing.